Five Ideas for Leaders to Implement the Growth Mindset for Their Team If you're a leader, you know how important it is to make sure your team is always looking towards the future and that they have a willingness to grow. However, getting your team to embrace a growth mindset is often easier said than done. In this tutorial, I'm going to share five ideas with you about how you can easily implement a growth mindset for your team. The most important thing you can do for your team is to encourage them to become more self-aware. Before the team can grow, they first need to see where they are starting from. Not only do they need to be aware of where they are at individually, but they also need to see where they are at as a team and what they can do better. Ensure the team is aware of their own emotions, their motivations, and their limits. As a leader, you can lead by example and show that you are also self-aware and you understand how your decisions affect the team and the business. When the team has self-awareness, they can make more opportunities for themselves and they can make better decisions for the team and for the company as a whole. Another great idea is to encourage the team to change projects and plans as needed. When there is a problem in a business, you often formulate a strategy and plan and then the team moves forward to solve the problem. Sometimes, the strategy might not go as planned or you might see that it's not working as well as you had hoped. Instead of getting down and stressing, encourage your team to push aside those negative emotions and show them that with a growth mindset, they can alter the plan as needed. This shows them that nothing needs to be stagnant. They can refocus themselves and change parts of the plan to another idea to see if it works better to find a solution. The third idea is to encourage your team to take failures as an opportunity for learning. Every team and every business will experience failure at one time or another. It's easy to get down about it, but as a leader, you can help the team to see the positive and you can show them how to take the failures and make them into new chances. By taking failures and turning them into opportunities, you're showing your team that they can push through the hard times and come out on the other side with more opportunities. Failure can be a learning tool when your team is encouraged not to be down, but instead, Know that failure is inevitable and can be seen and used as a tool for success. The fourth tip is to always make sure you're ready for change. This includes making your team ready to embrace change. Consider what your team needs and see if there are any routines or habits they could benefit from being shaken up. Is your team doing things that are not benefiting anyone that could be changed to make the company more progressive and learning towards the future? The fifth and final tip I can give you is that you want to encourage your team to persevere. Remind them that change and growth do not happen overnight. It's something that needs to be worked towards with patience and resilience. I hope you'll take the five tips in this guide and encourage your team to have a growth mindset. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.